Members of the Council, this opening session of the National Archives Council is an occasion of historic significance. For the first time, after a national existence of some 160 years, we who are here today are to lay down policies which are to guide in the preservation of the priceless records of the American government. Policies which are to affect not only the accumulated stores of the past, but also the increments thereto, which will accrue throughout the generations to come. I count it a notable honor that you have assigned to me the privilege of presiding at our deliberations. We should approach our duty in a manner that will save us from allowing this vastly important work to become a matter of routine. I believe that the most important thing for us here today is the attitude of mind we bring to the responsibilities imposed upon us. In all earnestness, I ask that we assume these responsibilities with the respect, even, let me say, with the reverence, due to the task, the discriminating and complete preservation of the endless drama of the history of the government of the United States in the great attempt to establish a working democracy in a vast country. The American people have the preservation of the archives of our government at heart. To this end, they have built an instrument equipped with the most modern devices and adequate in every respect. Without stint, they have indicated what is a very noble conception. They have resolved that there shall be a complete record and they have willed that it shall be encased in a structure of surpassing beauty in order that all may be touched with the feeling of the dignity that is inseparable from the growth of a wonderful national life. The administration of this home of history is in charge of the archivist of the United States and his associates. It is for us as a council to give guidance and advice. And we now pledge our sympathetic cooperation to ensure the success for all time of the National Archives establishment. Looking to the past and to the future, let me express the earnest and confident hope that there will be no faltering in the effort to realize the expectations which inspired this splendid undertaking. Right. 